The 42 years old gentleman came to the hospital on late Sunday evening with history of chest pain of one hour duration. Most important thing here is that when he came, he had symptoms, but immediately he went on to cardiac arrest. When you mean cardiac arrest, that means the heart doesn't pump. If the heart stops for more than four minutes, important organs like brain are likely to get damaged. Sometimes irreversible damage. For this event, it would have occurred outside the hospital. Definitely, he wouldn't have reached the hospital. I was truly amazed and yeah, they have given me a rebirth. I would call this as my second mother because this hospital has given me a birth again. I am Dr. Hemant. I am the critical care specialist in Sagar Hospitals. I'd like to share with you our experience in managing this young gentleman who came to us on late Sunday evening. Most important thing here is that when he came, he had symptoms, but immediately he went on to cardiac arrest. When you mean cardiac arrest, that means the heart doesn't pump. And we tried nearly for 18 minutes. And at the end of 18 minutes, we were able to get back a blood flow from the heart. This is called as return of spontaneous circulation. The important point here is that if the heart stops for more than four minutes, important organs like brain are likely to get damaged sometimes irreversible damage. Uh, the good thing here is that we held on to the patient and we continued our efforts for 18 long minutes and we were able to get back a good circulation. And the good thing is that after 24 hours, the patient woke up and he was fully conscious. There was absolutely no signs of brain damage and uh, we could take him off the ventilator the very next day. And it was such a pleasure to see him sitting uh, on the bed and reading a newspaper. And 18 long minutes, we didn't give up. We held on uh, to the patient and uh, we took high risk, placed a stent. And after the, the procedure, we did targeted temperature management. And today the result is that, you know, we have a patient uh, who is perfectly ready to go home. He's fully conscious, no signs of brain damage, and his heart is working perfectly well. I'm Nagesh Kumar, working in Accenture. Um, and last Sunday, I suddenly got a stroke, uh, as they call it cardiac arrest, which, was, which I was totally unaware on Sunday night when I rushed to the Ananda Sagar Hospital. Uh, I mean, prior to that, I just went to a normal nursing home for the ECG. And I had no idea why I should be reaching out here unless uh, this is the closest place. But once I reached here, uh, the ambience, the hospitality or the way they took care of me for last three days, particularly for the first two days when I was in ICU was excellent. I was actually paralyzed, though I had conscious, I was aware about the circumstances, what's happening around. I ne never felt that, I mean, I was ill-treated, I was always being taken care, I was always feeling that there is some support that is happening, there is some uh, way to give my life back is what is that happening around and I was truly amazed uh, from the entire hospitality and within two days uh, they were able to recover and when I called my colleagues and friends, they are all really surprised, you know, within that short span of time, uh, they could recover you looking at the reports and looking at the angiot plus surgery that happened, installing the stents. Everything they did well in time, on time. And yeah, they have given me a rebirth. So truly amazed and very glad that I reached the right place at the right time. Right time. And um, I would call this as my second mother because this hospital has given me a birth again. Thank you very much, uh, the Ananda Sagar Hospital and every staff out here. I am thankful to be thankful to God for making me you know, reach here on time. Hi everyone, I am Dr. K. Subramaniam, consultant, interventional cardiologist. I would like to share a few unique things about my patient. A 42 years old gentleman came to the hospital on late Sunday evening with history of uh, chest pain of one hour duration. So his ECG was taken, which showed subtle ST changes. Unlike the routine myocardial infarction where there will be gross ST elevations. This is the first unique thing about this patient. Meanwhile, when we are about to shift him to cath lab, that is uh, operation theater for uh, primary angioplasty, he had a sudden cardiac arrest. So he had a 
ventricular fibrillation which was converted with the DC cardioversion and he was uh, intubated and artificial ventilation was st started. For this event, uh, if you, it would have occurred outside the hospital, definitely he wouldn't have reached the hospital. So this is the second unique thing about this patient. Then he was shifted to cath lab for primary angioplasty. He underwent angiogram. There was a blockage in one of the blood vessels supplying the heart. The blockage was opened with balloon angioplasty and stent was uh, placed. Then he was shifted to ICU for further management and he was managed excellently under the guidance of Dr. Hemant and other intensivists in the Sagar ICU.